Hello everyone, today we are going to start with chapter number 6, bar graph, practice set number 18 and from practice set number 19, we are only going to solve question 1 and 2, the other question I will solve in the next video. Okay, so let's start with practice set number 18. So this is the practice set from the textbook, you all can refer it. Now the question says, bar graph shows the maximum temperature in degree Celsius in different cities on a certain day in February. Observe the graph and answer the questions. So they have already given us a graph. This is the graph that they have given and the questions have been given. We have to answer them using the information given from the graph. Okay, so let's go through the graph first. Now this is x axis. Okay, so this is known to be as x axis whereas this is supposed to be your y axis. On y axis, the temperature in degree Celsius is given. Whereas on the x-axis, the cities are shown. Alright, so everything has been given. Whereas the most important thing, that is the scale. Scale on y-axis, that is this axis, 1 unit. Now what does 1 unit means? Children, don't get confused. 1 unit means this complete thing. Okay, now I am using a black pen children because in, on the screen it should be visible. But you all have to use a pencil Okay, don't use a pen over here. Use a pencil. Now, 1 unit is equal to 5 degrees Celsius means this is your 1 unit and it is supposed to be 5 degrees. Okay, so 5, 5 plus 5, 10, 5 plus 5 plus 5, 15, so, so on. Okay, so everything is been plotted. You all have to only observe and answer the question. So in the next exercise, that is practice set number 19, we will learn how to draw it. Okay, so first we will learn how to read it. Then it becomes easy for us to draw also. So the first question is, what data is shown on the vertical and the horizontal lines? Now what is vertical? Vertical means this line and horizontal means this line x-axis horizontal y-axis vertical okay so i have already written the questions you all can write it down and then write the answers so what data is shown on x-axis cities name of the cities we can write name of the cities okay and in bracket you all can show Horizontal line. Okay. Okay. And on Y axis, that is vertical line. Isn't it? Vertical line. What is shown? The temperature is shown. Got it children? So as I said, if we are able to read the graph, we are able to answer the questions also. They are very, very easy. Now, which city has the highest temperature? Highest temperature. Now, look at the graph. Highest temperature. So you all have to check the end points of every bar. These are the bars, isn't it? These are the bars that you all have to read according to the measurements they have given. Okay, so which is the highest bar? 35, isn't it? And which city it's representing? Chandrapur city. So right over here, Chandrapur city. You all don't have to write a complete sentence. Only a single word will be more than enough. Now, next is which city had equal maximum temperature? Equal maximum temperature. Okay, equal means same. So, check the bar, this and this. Isn't it? It is very much visible. So, which cities? Panchagami and Mathiran. So, write the names of the cities and Mathiran. Okay, now, which city has a maximum temperature of 30 degrees Celsius? Okay, so, now over here, you all have to watch for the y-axis. So, 30 is being shown by two cities. See, Pune also, or you all can say Pune, and then Nasik. Okay, so, write the name of the city, that is Pune and Nasik. 
okay i have written short form because i am from nasik so i have written nasik which is this is also correct and this name is also correct don't worry now the next question is what is the difference between the maximum temperature of panchgani and chandrapur okay now chandrapur and panchgani these are the two names that they have shown so panchgani is having how much degree celsius 25 so first we will write off panchgani panchgani is supposed to be how much 25 degree celsius in this way you all have to write it and chandrapur we will write the name and then in front of its name we will write the temperature so chandrapur is this which is having 35 degree so this is 35 degree celsius got it children now let's solve the practice set number 19 so from practice set number 19 we are only going to complete question number 1 and 2 in this video the other questions i will complete in the next video now in this we have to draw a bar bar graph of the given data so let's read the question the name of the head of some families heads of some families in a village and the quantity of drinking water their family consumes in one day are given below okay so how much they drink the water every day is been given okay by the family these are the name of the head of the people from each family and the other members including these people the head of the person they drink this much liter of water so what is going to be the bar graph they have asked us to draw a bar graph for the data now scale is very important as i said they have already given on y axis we have to take 1 cm is equal to 10 liters of water and everything is been given name is been given okay so name we will write it on the x axis and the liters and the numbers that we have to denote in the form of liters we will write it on the y axis so let's start with the plotting so from first we will draw the x axis now for drawing the x axis leave 1 cm from the bottom okay this is supposed to be 1 cm so from this you don't have to draw this line children it is for your explanation so from your draw one straight line which is going to represent your x axis okay right here x axis okay same for the y axis leave 1 cm okay this is supposed to be 1 cm so from here leave 1 cm and draw a y axis in this way okay it has to cross over here so in such a way draw an y axis okay it is more than sufficient but let's draw a bigger line if in case we need it okay so this is supposed to be your y axis we will write it over here y axis okay naming is important because you are going to uh, get half of mark for all the namings so this is supposed to be your marking zero okay now over here you all have to leave 1 1 cm okay for the name of the member okay family member you all have to write over here and the numbers you all have to mark it on the y axis and the scale that they have given isn't it they have given the scale that is on y axis 1 cm is equal to 10 liters of water so same scale you all have to write it over here okay so i will write it scale on y axis 1 cm is equal to 10 liters of water okay and children the scale is very important so that your teacher will understand what scale you all have taken okay if they have given this scale as it has been given in the textbook then you all have to use the same scale no need to use your own mind you all have to use the same as been given in the question okay now what we have written 1 cm is equal to 10 liters so you all have to start with 10 okay that is 10 then 20 
ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी सिक्सटी सेवेंटी एंड एटी आई विल स्टॉप एट एटी बिकॉज ऑल द नंबर्स यू विल सी आर लेस देन सिक्सटी ओके फिफ्टी फाइव इज द ग्रेटेस्ट ऑफ ऑल सो एटी वी विल मार्क यू ऑल कैन राइट इट टिल सिक्सटी ऑल्सो नो प्रॉब्लम ओके ना द मेन थिंग इज यू ऑल हैव टू राइट द नेम्स ऑफ द पर्सन दैट आर बीन गिवन इन द टेक्सट बुक रमेश शोभा आयुब जूली एंड राहुल सो हाउ आर यू गोइंग टू राइट इट नाउ फ्रॉम यर यू ऑल हैव टू लीव वन सेंटीमीटर अगेन ओके आई शो यू अगेन फ्रॉम यर टिल यर यू ऑल हैव टू लीव द स्पेस ओके टू ड्रॉ अ बारोग्राफ नाउ यू ऑल कैन टेक टू सेंटीमीटर ऑल्सो और यू ऑल कैन टेक वन सेंटीमीटर ऑल्सो टू सेंटीमीटर मीन्स this one plus one is going to be टू सेंटीमीटर so that it will look big okay but I will take this much okay that is वन सेंटीमीटर and name it as Ramesh because the name first they have given as Ramesh again I will leave one space वन सेंटीमीटर space and from here till here I will write शोभा and remember you'll have to mark it with a pencil not a pen then again 1 cm line you'll have to leave and then ayub again 1 cm space you'll have to leave and the other marking julie and again 1 cm space and then the last name is rahul got it i hope this is clear because this is very important children and always remember the numbers are going to come on the y axis and the names are going to come on the x axis okay so this is very important now first what they have said ramesh family needs 30 liters of water so where is the marking of 30 30 is over here do the marking now this is very easy we all know how to mark it in this way you all have to first put a dot so that it doesn't get mixed okay now this is ramesh then shobha 60 liters so where is my 60 remember you all have to leave a space between okay we have left don't join it. it's not join bar graph it's only bar graph so leave 1 cm space and then use this and then mark the points for shobha that is 60 liters so liters you all have to mark it over here okay one thing we forgot to mention over here we have done the marking isn't it so what is this this is water in liters isn't it and these are name of the family head so name of the heads of the family okay so it denotes what you all have marked teacher is very going to be clear about what concept you all have used now i you will need 40 so again leave one cm space mark the points join it now this is going to be your first time to plot the graph so that is why i am doing it very slowly you all can watch my other video which i have already posted last year okay you all can watch it of and then if you are not able to understand from here you all can watch that video you will be more clear about it now 50 for julie so 50 is over here mark the points so this is going to be 50 in this way okay so this is 50 for julie and rahul is 55 now how are you going to take 55 see this is 50 i will show it over here 50 this is 50 okay so if you will see we are having small small lines let's focus yeah if you will see we are having small small lines over here so count five lines one Two, three, four, and five. It's coming over here, isn't it? So after marking, what you all have to do is fifty-five is going to come over here. So take the measurement as with a scale only. Use a scale, and fifty-five. We have got it. Mark it. 
isn't it easy to solve children it is very easy just remember the points that i have shown you all naming is important x axis y axis zero scale for all of this you all are going to get marks that is half of marks now let's start with the second question the name and the number of animal in a certain zoo are given below name of the animals number of the animals already is been given use the data to make a bar graph and scale also they have given 1 cm is equal to 4 animals that means you will have to use the table of 4 over here don't get confused i'll show you how to use it all right now let's start with the marking that is first we will draw the x axis as usual first we will draw x axis and use a pencil for this i'm using a pen so that it will be clear on the screen this is x axis i have left one centimeter on both the sides okay so i will take only this much because that much is only needed okay so this is my zero this is supposed to be my y axis after this i will draw the scale which has been given as this okay so i will write it over here that is scale on y axis one centimeter is equal to four animals is it clear yes it is now we will do the marking as i said name of the animals will come on the x axis and numbers will come on the y axis so for the names we will draw we will write the names later on first we will write the number of animals okay so what you all have to do you all have to write the table of 4 don't get confused 4 8 4 and the 4 4 twos are 8 4 threes are 12 4 fours are 16 4 fives are 20 4 fives are Sorry, 4 and the 4, 4 2s are 8, 4 3s are 12, 4 4s are 16, 4 5s are 20, 4 6 are 24. Okay. So, I think 24 will be more than enough because the last and the biggest number is 20. We will only need till 20 only. Okay. Now, numbers have been done. What is this? We have to write. We, this is the number of, number of animals in zoo okay so i have written the number of animals now we will write the names leave one centimeter space over here the first name was deer so i will write deer then one centimeter space you all have to leave on the next one centimeter you all have to write tiger leave one centimeter space then monkey Okay, you all have to write it small, small. Then a rabbit. Then one centimeter space and then peacock. Alright, so everything has been ready. And what is this? Name of the animals. Name of the animals. Okay, now very easily... The numbers have been given. Don't make changes over your children. As the sequence has been given, draw it in the same way. Write the names also in the same way. Don't change the pattern. Now, how many deers were there? There were 20 deers. So, when is 20? 20 is right here. Now, as I said, always put a dot because it becomes easy to draw the lines. So, this is your number of deers. Then, four tigers. So, four is over here, right over here. So, this is going to be four. Now, next is 12. Now, where is 12? 12 is over here. Don't get confused. You all have to leave one block over here. So, 12 will come over here. 12 monkeys. Then 16 rabbits. Leave one block. 16 is over here. So 16 rabbits. 
and the last one is peacock how many peacock eight so leave one block and eight is over here so write over here eight okay now this question has been done over here children now other questions that is three four five six and seven i will do it in the next video till then you all can practice these sums if you all are having any queries please let me know in the comment section so that in the next video i will take your queries because we have to cover the same topic in the next video also so if you all are having any queries please let me know in the comment section see you in the next video till then take care bye